Hi, Ryan from Skyglass here. Today I'm excited to show how you can create your own realistic 3D environments using Unreal Engine and upload them for use in Skyglass. To get started, you're going to need a Windows PC. Once you have a Windows PC that's able to run Unreal Engine, you're going to want to use the Epic Games Launcher to install version 5.0 of Unreal Engine. We don't yet support 5.1 or 5.2, so you're going to need to install uh, Unreal Engine 5.0. Once you've installed Unreal Engine 5, there's a couple other packages you're going to need in order to successfully export assets that will work on our Linux-based cloud platform. First of all, you're going to need the Linux cross-compilation -comp toolchain from Epic Games. So we'll provide a link to this page in the description for this video, but um, on this page you will see for Unreal Engine version 5.0, you need this cross compilation tool chain that's playing 13.0.1. So you're going to need to download and install that. Finally, you need one more uh, software package, which is the Microsoft.NET Core 3.1 desktop runtime. This is required for our packaging process as well. So you'll need to download and install this. Again, we'll provide the, the link to that package in the notes for this video. Once you have all the prerequisites installed, you're ready to create your own Skyglass asset pack. To start, we'll open our web browser and go to newapp.skyglass.com. I've already logged in, and since I'm subscribed to the studio plan, I see this new asset pack button. But before I can use that, I need to go to the downloads page and download the Skyglass Forge plugin for Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Now, because we're a new website, you may um, see a warning that Microsoft isn't familiar with this file. I'm going to go ahead and click Keep, Show More, and Keep Anyway to actually download it. Now, if I uh, show this file in the folder, I'll see here that it's here in my Downloads folder, and I can go ahead and extract it by right-clicking on it. Okay, now that I've extracted the zip file, I can see here a Unreal Engine project. Now, the project is named Skyglass Server. That's for technical reasons. You can ignore that. We consider this the Skyglass Forge project. And you're always going to need to open this project whenever you want to create a new asset pack for Skyglass. Now, Skyglass Forge currently is only compatible with Unreal Engine 5.0. So if you have 5.1 or 5.2 installed, it will not work you need to install 5.0 and open this project in Unreal Engine 5.0. So I already have Unreal Engine 5.0 configured, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this file to open the project. It takes just a, a few moments to load, and once it is, you'll see an empty project with no content in it. Now I'm going to go up here to the file menu and you'll see there's a Skyglass Forge menu item and a Create Asset Pack option. So I'm going to click on that to create a new asset pack. So today I just want to walk you through the, basic, the basics of creating an asset pack. So I'm going to call this project, this, this asset pack, Hello World. And it's going to be a very basic example. You can fill out this information here, but we don't use it for anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it blank and you can as well. All right, once I've created my asset pack, you'll see under the there's a new plugins directory and a hello world content directory under that. Now I want to put um, all the content for my asset pack into this hello world content directory. And currently the only kind of content that Skyglass supports is Unreal Engine levels. A level is a world that you can load in Skyglass and use as a virtual environment. So for this example, I'll go ahead up to File and click New Level. And then I'm just going to choose a basic new level. Great. Now I've got this, so I'm going to go ahead and save it by clicking File, Save Current Level. And I want to make sure to put it in the Hello World content directory. And I'm just going to call it Hello World. OK. Now that I've got my world, I'll put one object in it to make it just a little bit more interesting. So I'll go up here to um, this button that lets me 
place actors. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a cube and place it in the world. I will reset it to the origin, but put it 50 centimeters above the ground so that it sits on the ground. The last thing that we need to do is add a player start object, which will give us a place for the user to be located when they load this scene or when you load the scene. So I'm going to go ahead back up here to add a new object and I'm going to choose basic player start. And I will also reset that one's position. Actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go ahead and put this um, in front of the cube and just put it right on the ground. That looks great. It's a little bit below the ground, so I'll lift it up just a little. Put it right there in front of the cube. And that looks good. So now we have a player start object um, and a cube for it to look at. So that will be our scene. So I'm going to go ahead and save it again. And one more thing I'll do before I package our asset pack is I'm going to build the lighting for this level. And this will make sure that everything looks great when we at package it up. So this, since it's such a simple level, this will just take a few moments. And we should be good to go. I'm going to save it one more time. And there's our asset pack. Okay, now that we're done, I'm going to go up here to File, Skyglass Forge, Package Asset Pack, and choose the Hello World package. And now I just need to choose where I want it. I'll go ahead and put it on my desktop. And you can see here it's packaging Hello World for Skyglass. This will take a couple of minutes. You can show the output log if you want to track the progress. But while that's going on, I'm going to go back to the web browser and create the metadata for this asset pack. So I'm going to load up the web browser. Oh, you can see it's already completed. Perfect. So I'm going to go back here to the web browser and click on asset packs and then create a new asset pack. So since our export completed, I can just click the upload button here and go to my desktop and choose this hello world.sky file that just got exported. So I'll say open. And that should up upload pretty quick since it was a small one. Now I'm going to give it a name. So I'll call it Hello World and call it an example environment. All right. Uh, one more thing we'll want is a thumbnail for this environment. So I'm going to go back in here and actually hit play so that we can um, create a thumbnail of this. And I used Command Shift S on Windows 11 to open up the snipping tool. It makes an easy way to create a uh, a screenshot. And I'm going to go go ahead in here and take a screenshot of the scene. And it was saved. Looks good. Perfect. So um, it's it's been saved right here. That'll work great. It's in my script, my screenshots folder. So I'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, if I go back to the browser, I can choose change thumbnail and go to my pictures, choose screenshots, and there it is. So I'll click open. All right, that works great. Now that I've uh, have a screenshot, a name, and a description, I need to set the path to the level that I want to load. This is very important. Without this path being correct, it will fail to load in the app. So if you look here in the content browser, you'll see that we have the plugins folder and then we have the hello world content folder. This is the root of the asset pack um, when it comes to setting this path. So what the path that we set needs to be relative to this hello world content folder. So in our case, the level we want to load is this hello world and it's at the very root of this Hello World content folder. So what we uh, put here is just going to be Hello World. Now, if instead we had a folder here like Levels, 
and then hello world was inside of it, it would be, uh, we would want to do something like levels slash hello world. But in our case, since hello world is at the very top level of the asset pack, this is all we need for the path. Now, if we had created multiple levels, we could add additional assets here by clicking the add asset button. We could give them a name, a screenshot, and a path and have multiple assets all within the same asset pack that we had uploaded. But in our case, we only create one. We only have one level, so we only have one asset in the asset pack. So I deleted that one. And here we go. This looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Okay, and now you can see that our asset successfully saved. You can go click here if you ever need to make changes to it, but um, I don't need to, so I'm going to cancel. And that's how you create a new asset pack on the Skyglass website. Now, we should be good to go to log into our account on our device and check it out. Okay, here I am in the Skyglass app, logged into the same account, and I can go ahead and open my asset library. I've just op updated to the latest version of the Skyglass app, 1.1.0. So you want to do that in order to see your assets in the library. So if I tap the asset library here in the corner, I can scroll over and I will see my assets pop in. And the very first one here is this hello world scene that I just created. So I'm going to tap on it and it will take a few seconds to load it. And after it does, then I'll be able to see that world I just created in Unreal Engine. Okay, now it's loaded that in. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm sitting down, I'm going to set the sitting height, set the floor height, and you can see here I am in my simple world with my block. I can go ahead and flip my camera around and uh, set an origin point on the floor. And that allows me to see the block there in front of me. And there we have it. So this is how you create a simple environment in Skyglass using Unreal Engine.